What's up guys? My name is Christian LeBlanc and for about the past two and a half years I've been traveling all around Southeast Asia. I've pretty much visited every country and of which Thailand has to be in my top three. Now there's one thing that keeps me coming back to Thailand and that is the incredible beaches. And today I wanted to put together a video of my top 10 choices of the best beaches in all of Thailand. Starting with number 10. Number 10 is a beach that I'm a little embarrassed to admit is in my top 10, but Koh Phi Phi is a truly beautiful island that's just a little bit overpopulated. But if you're looking for an amazing night out, this is the place to go. Koh Phi Phi is the party island. You can find yourself on this beach seven nights of the week. It is always busy. It's not the place to come if you're looking for a quiet or romantic getaway. Just a 15 minute boat ride away from Koh Phi Phi leads me to number nine. Let's ride. Maya Bay. Maya Bay is easily the most beautiful beach in all of Thailand, but the reason it's not making the top three is because it's just simply too busy. But if you can get past the crowds or get there at the right time during the day, you will be blown away by the incredible beauty. It was actually made famous by Leonardo DiCaprio's movie, The Beach, or was it called The Island? Number eight, Koh Samet is one of my favorite islands that very few people know about. And it's only about three and a half hours away from Bangkok using the local buses. The great thing about the beaches in Koh Samet is that you've got that beautiful blue clear water and you've got for the most part a very relaxing environment where you can enjoy the beach, enjoy some great restaurants and a bit of nightlife. It kind of gives you a little bit of everything and it's close to Bangkok. Number seven is Koh Nai Nguyen. This is an island situated right off the coast of Koh Tao. It's literally a 15 minute little long tail boat away and it's one of the most spectacular views I've seen in all my years of traveling. Now, with most beautiful places in the world, it tends to attract crowds and Koh Nai Nguyen is no exception. You have to pay to get on the island, but the view and the spectacular beauty of this island definitely outweighs the cost and the crowds that you'll probably have to put up with. I recommend coming here towards the end of the day so you avoid most of the crowds. There wasn't that many fish, but it was still cool. There was some coral. I saw a sea cucumber. Number six is Rayleigh, and Rayleigh is basically taking a page right out of Avatar. This place is unbelievably beautiful. I would even go as far as saying it's probably the most spectacular landscapes I have ever seen in one place. However, the reason it's not in the top three is again, the crowds. You're gonna have to deal with quite a bit of tourism, but luckily, because there's few places to sleep, it does quiet down at night, so if you're willing to spend extra money, you can get an incredible sunset because by then, most most people have headed back to the mainland. This is also a great place to do rock climbing and they have some incredible island tours that take you to some of the most pristine beaches. And again, be warned that like most of Thailand these days, you will probably see crowds. Number five is actually two different islands, but they're so close to each other, I thought I would bring them together. Koh Yao Ye and Koh Yao Noi are two little islands right off the coast of busy Phuket. Both of them are incredible islands and if you're in the Phuket area, I highly recommend you escape Phuket to go check these two out. They've got incredibly beautiful beaches and unlike pretty much every beach I've mentioned so far, you will probably not have to face any form of crowd. Nobody else here, so I guess there's only like one other guest checked in, so I feel like this is like our own private beach and it's so nice, I'm loving this. No, they're not the most spectacular beaches in Thailand on their own, but the fact that you have privacy, an awesome island to rent a scooter and explore, there's a few good restaurants and a few great hotels. I have to say, these are definitely some of the must visit beaches in Thailand. Now number four is Koh Nagae. Now admittedly, it's been at least a couple years since I was last there and it may have changed, but when I was there last, I just remember seeing one of the most pristine beaches I'd ever seen with the most clear blue water. There was a simple swing set up where you could just feel like you were swinging through paradise and there was nobody else there other than a few day trippers. One of the ways to see Koh Nagay without spending the big money to actually stay on the island is to do the day trip. There's a four island and a five island tour and sometimes they'll include Koh Nagay. I would definitely try to go out of my way to see it. Number three is Sairi Beach in Koh Tao. This beach holds a special place in my heart for a different reason. It is not the most beautiful, it is probably one of the busiest, and sometimes it can even be a little bit dirty. But what I love about Sairi Beach is the nightlife. And when it's nighttime, it comes to life. 
you've got bars, restaurants, you've even got fire shows going on. I definitely recommend Koh Tao to any traveler. Koh Tao is actually a very big island and it has many other beautiful beaches surrounding it, but Sairi is the one that definitely gets the most attention and it's the best for the nightlife. The second most beautiful beach in all of Thailand is on an island that as of right now, very few people are visiting. On the eastern coast of Thailand, near the Cambodian border, there are a few beautiful islands and Koh Kud is one of them. My girlfriend and I had the incredible opportunity to stay at one of the finest resorts in all of Thailand and at that resort they had this beach on Koh Kud that literally was what dreams were made of. So this right here is the north beach of Soneva, absolutely pristine. This is the most beautiful beach I've ever seen in my entire life hands down. Granted, it's also not the most natural beach I've ever seen. This place is definitely groomed. You can tell that there's not a single piece of garbage. There's not a single piece of foliage that's been left around. Uh, they keep this place in tip-top condition. But purely from an aesthetics point of view, this is the premium beach. You cannot beat this. Now the reason it's not number one was because it's not publicly available and it was so well groomed that it really wasn't that natural of a beach. But for just enjoying that romantic getaway or having that picture perfect moment, that beach in Koh Kud, Thailand was my favorite. And last but not least is the number one beach in all of Thailand. It's actually very close to Koh Kud, Thailand and that is on an island by the name of Koh Mak. Now Koh Mak, similar to Koh Kud, is currently a bit of a sleeper island but it is unbelievably beautiful and I think that there is a lot more tourism coming its way soon. If you want to experience a pristine beach that still has great amenities, restaurants and hotels, but you don't have to compete with the crowds, then you're definitely going to want to check out Koh Mak. And what leads me to the number one beach is actually not on Koh Mak, but a little island right off the coast of it, just a 10 minute long tail boat away. Koh Kam was it? Koh Kam? Koh is Koh Kam. And Koh Kham is a privately owned island and on it was one of the most incredible beaches I've ever seen. It basically ticked off every box that you could possibly be looking for if you want to find the most beautiful beach. Incredible fine white sands, the clearest of blue waters, the tall swaying palm trees, and it even had a feeling of being disconnected from the rest of the world which I absolutely loved. For me, it is the perfect island and it takes my number one in all of Thailand. If you're coming to Thailand, I'm sure this video helped you plan your trip a little bit further, but if you want to have all the stress taken away, I've actually created the perfect travel itinerary just for you. Go to my website, getlosttravels.com and check out my 24 video travel guide that will literally show you how to pack your bag, what to bring. It'll show you where to go in Thailand step by step in a chronological order from the moment you land in Bangkok to the moment you fly out. It shows you the best of everything Thailand has to offer. From the islands in the south, the elephants in the north, and the incredibly diverse city of Bangkok, this itinerary will make sure that you make the most of your time in Thailand. And I even have a free sample of what that guide has to offer. So make sure to check out getlosttravels.com where you can get your free guide to Bangkok and get ready for your incredible trips ahead. If you enjoyed this video guys, make sure to share it with your friends. Hit that thumbs up button, whatever you gotta do. And thank you so much for your support. Let's get lost again in the next one. Are you, uh, are you from here? What are your thoughts on the island? Yeah? Yeah. Just so say peanut butter? Yeah. Uh, food? Walk, walk, walk. Oh yeah, they speak Thai here. Forgot about that. This is really nice. Just chilling on one of the most pristine beaches, hanging out with uh, Muk, Muk, Muk. Onward to the next beach. Onward.